Hello friends and foes, this is Lay Me Now, and today I'm here with the list of best Android FPS games of 2018. I'm not going to waste any of your time, let's get started. <laughs> Kicking in at number 10, this is the Counter Strike for Android. Critical Ops is one of the newer FPS games, just like Counter Strike. In this one, you choose to be a part of anti terrorist unit and stop the destruction, or play as a terrorist and cause the destruction. The, it features online multiplayer mods, leaderboards, and decent graphics to create a pretty complete overall experience. And giving you the feeling of Doom at number 9, Dead Effect 2 is a sci-fi FPS game with element of horror, survival and RPG. You'll play as the main character and you can choose one of the three protagonists. Additionally, you'll have tons of gears, weapons and body implants to find and level up overall the course of the game. It features more than 20 hours of campaign and tons of options for upgrading. Of course, you will be leveling up your character as well. It has a fantastic graphics and a fun storyline. It's one of the more complete FPS games out there. The game at number 8 looks a little bit like Team Fortress 2. Guns of Boom is a popular FPS game. It features a cartoon style similar to some popular shooter games on PC and console. It is not as good as those. Though the game features a variety of weapons, online PvP combat and a loot box system. We are not too thrilled about the loot box system, but everything else is good. All players need to do is aim. The game auto fires when the enemy is in the crosshairs. That gives the game a bit of simplicity that works well for it being a mobile shooter. It's premium as per the norm. At number 7, Hitman Sniper is one of the more unique FPS games. Your character is pretty outside of the building looking in with a sniper rifle. Your job is to take out the various targets without anyone getting suspicious about your location. The game contains over 150 missions, various sniper rifles to unlock, leaderboards, and it also has some strategy elements. It is relatively inexpensive and can be a lot of fun if you like your action a bit slower paced. The, number, the game on number 6 is one of my favorite. Into the Dead 2 is one of the newer FPS games. It features a lot of the same mechanics from the first one. You run through the fields of zombies to survive. The player gets a ton of weapons to unlock and upgrade. This variety also includes some strategy elements and dark companions as well. The graphics are above average. It also plays well for being a mobile game and contains multiple endings. The game has a surprising amount of depth for being a mobile game. It is a premium game and that's never ideal. However, it's still an excellent FPS game. At number 5, it's not just one game, but the whole development company. Madfinger Games developed several FPS games, and they're all among the best on mobile. Their title includes Dead Trigger 1 and 2, 
Unkill and the Shadow Gun series. Each game has its own set of mechanics, graphics and rules. Unkilled, Unkilled and the Dead Trigger are zombie shooter games with missions, unlockable weapons, online play and decent graphics. The Shadow Gun series is also quite good. In fact, Shadow Gun Legends came out recently. It's a rock solid sci-fi shooter with a more traditional feeling to it. They all have various costs, but most of them are premium. Hit the link in the description below to see the whole collection. They are all extremely excellent FPS games. At number 4 we have Modern Combat 5. Modern Combat 5 is among the most popular and mainstream FPS games on mobile. The game comes with decent graphics, tons of content, online multiplayer and more. The po its popularity virtually guarantees that there is always someone online to play with or against you. It also comes with a campaign mode, 6 different character classes that you can level up and customize, the support of hardware controllers and it all, uh, it all adds up to a very solid experience. These days, the game is even promoting itself as an eSport. The game at number 3 sounds like some drugs. Warfight is one of the newer FPS games. It's kind of like a mobile no man's sky. You explore randomly generated planets with various landscapes and creatures. There is also a storyline. The free version lets you explore as many planets as you want. However, you only get a few of the story missions. The full version is a single app in purchase. This isn't a premium game and that's a big reason why it is here. And taking place at number 2. No Legacy is the latest title in franchise of popular FPS games. It is a sci-fi shooter that comes with a full campaign mode, decent graphics, several game modes including online multiplayer and some more. You can even craft and upgrade your weapons. Some of its tertiary features include leaderboards, character customization and death cams on multiplayer mode. It is a premium game that makes it feel and play differently than its uh, predecessors. Still, it is among the best and don't believe it's 30 M 35 MB claim so it is much larger than that. Now all of us knew that this game will be in the top list. Number 1. PUBG Mobile. PUBG Mobile is mobile port of uh, a very popular FPS game on PC and console. This game drops you on an island with 100 total players. The goal is to be the last one standing. There is gear, weapons and vehicles strewn about the map as well. It plays surprisingly well for how new it is. Additionally, the mechanics are above average. And that was it for today and I hope you guys liked the video and if I missed some game that you think should have been in the list let us know in the comment below and we will make sure that the game makes its place in the upcoming list. So till then take care don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Oh.